Hello friends. It was April 26, 1986, a day etched in history as the Chernobyl disaster unfolded. The catastrophic event not only scarred the landscape but cast a shadow over the lives of those who called the region home. The once bustling city of Pripyat transformed into a ghost town, abandoned and left to decay in the wake of nuclear catastrophe. Decades later, as the world moved on, a group of scientists embarked on a daring project. Their mission was to unveil the secrets of the Chernobyl exclusion zone and understand the impact of the disaster on the flora and fauna that persevered against all odds. The project promised revelations that would challenge preconceived notions about the effects of radiation. As winter descended upon the desolate landscape, the researchers trudged through the snow, covered terrain, armed with determination and cutting-edge technology. Freshly fallen snow became a canvas, imprinted with the tracks of a resurging population of wildlife. The once forbidden zone had become a haven for creatures long absent from these lands. November saw the installation of 42 cameras, scattered strategically across the Ukrainian part of the exclusion zone. The lenses captured the intimate moments of a wildlife renaissance, wild boars foraging, wolves prowling, roe deer gracefully navigating the skeletal remains of Pripyat, and foxes playing in the shadow of the abandoned nuclear reactors. The revelation stunned the scientific community. The Chernobyl zone, tainted by radiation, had become a sanctuary for life. The absence of human interference proved to be a more significant boon than the looming threat of radioactivity. Jim Smith, a professor at the University of Portsmouth, mused on the paradox, we are not saying that radiation is a good thing. But the absence of human influence has allowed animal populations to increase. The data painted a vivid picture of nature's resilience. Rare and elusive creatures, absent for over a century, emerged from the shadows. European lynx and brown bears, once considered extinct in the region, roamed freely through the eerily quiet forests. The Chernobyl disaster, a symbol of human failure, inadvertently created a haven for biodiversity. Bison and Prowalski's horses, once on the brink of extinction, now grazed peacefully in the fields surrounding the decaying remnants of Pripyat. The researchers marveled at the irony, the very tragedy that devastated human lives had inadvertently given rise to a thriving ecosystem.